Hello everyone, my name is Tov and I will be guiding you through today's lesson. In this lesson, we will be exploring activities for the Grove Sound Sensor module. The sound sensor is a sensor to detect the sound intensity of the environment primarily using a simple microphone. This outputs an analog signal. This module is a great instrument for measuring noise in the surroundings. And the way this works is through sound vibrations. The vibrations cause a plate inside the sensor to bend back and forth, thus producing a change in voltage, which can be measured. Larger vibrations means higher values. For our first activity, we want to know the values the sound sensor gives through the different sounds. Note that if you haven't taken out the module from the breakout board, that there is no need to connect them using the Grove cables because these modules are already connected to the Grove base shield. In this video, I am only presenting to you how to connect the modules on the shield assuming that the modules have been taken out of the breakout board. Plug in the Grove sound sensor module to the analog pin marked A2. Once it's connected, attach the shield to your Arduino Uno and connect it to your computer. So what we're going to do first is define the sound sensor pin. Then, introduce a variable which holds the input value of the sound sensor. Then, on our setup, we declare the sound sensor as an input and set the data rate of our serial monitor using serial.begin. On our main code, we will still be using analog read to read the output value of our sound sensor and print this using serial.println. So once you're done, save the code and upload it to your Arduino. Open your serial monitor. Try clapping or yelling and notice the values it gives off. And play music directly to the sound sensor. And you will notice how the value changes. For our second activity, we will be integrating LED to the sound sensor. So for the LED connection, we connect our Grove LED to the pin D6 also found on our Grove base shield. What we will be doing in this activity is we will be controlling the LED to turn on or off using our clap. So first, we're going to be defining the LED pin. Then, we declare the LED as an output on our setup, and on our main code, we use the conditional statement if, wherein, when the sound sensor detects a value higher than or equal to 500, the LED will turn on. If 500 doesn't work for you, you can vary it and see what works best. The control for the LED is digital write. We use digital right here because we will only be controlling two states, high and low. We don't need to vary the brightness of our LED. Otherwise, it will turn off. So once you're done with the code, save the file and upload it to your Arduino.
For our third project, the setup will be the same as the previous. The difference is the code. So what we will be doing is quite similar to a music visualizer. We will be introducing a new variable, which is light val, which will hold the value of our LED. We will map the input values first from our sound sensor. We will scale it down to 255. Then we will use analog write to control the LED brightness. So once you're done with the code, upload this to your Arduino and you will notice from our output that when you play music near your sound sensor, the LED brightness will vary according to the music. Now that is it for this lesson. To learn more about the other modules, simply head on to the next video.